Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Get it there. Oh! They made it! Well, today's the, tomorrow's the big day. Uh, I've got the trailer done to the point where we can take it out on its maiden voyage. Got a lot more work to do, but this is going to be uh, a trip to West Virginia. Got the motorcycles all loaded up. Let's go inside and see what we got done, okay? Come on. Oh. First of all, I've got the mini split. My neighbor gave me a piece of uh, rubber uh, mat to put around it to keep the road debris from flying up. I've got some straps and some bungee cords, obviously, you can see there, uh, keep, uh, keep the debris from going in the mini split. Let's go around and go inside and see what we got. Okay, as far as the motorcycles go, I bought a, a chalk system. It's called uh, Bolt It On is the name of the company, and they make a line of products there uh, for uh, uh, bolting down motorcycles and trailers and whatnot. It takes like five minutes to put this system in and take it out. And so once we get to where we're going, we just, uh, well, I'll just show you. Right down here, all I got to do is just... Unscrew those, one on each side, and then the whole system pops out. And I throw it in the back of my truck and back seat of my truck and uh, get it out of the way. But anyways, uh, my wife has uh, done a lot of packing for me. Um, I don't have any doors yet, but we've got some little bins here that we'll put stuff in and uh, coolers and whatnot. But uh, the motorcycles are all loaded up. I've got my bed. Uh, I don't have a proper mattress yet, so what I'm using on this trip is uh, I've got uh, an old topper, uh, mattress topper that I've folded over twice, and then I've got an um, air mattress there, uh, so that should be plenty comfortable. So when we get to where we're going, obviously we'll go ahead and knock the motorcycles out, and, uh, and I'll lower the bed down, and uh, that'll be there. Uh, now up front here. We got our shower right here, which will uh, second for storage on the way up there. And then when we get there, we'll of course move that stuff out of the way. But anyways, got the shower already, hot water heater in the back, propane tank down below. Today's the big day. Gonna start the adventure with the trailer. We're all packed up, loaded to go. Let's swing around here. Trailer's loaded, ready to go. Got a good friend with his rig. He's going. Uh, for all you Himalayan riders out there, I got to ride with these two KTMs, so hopefully they'll be able to catch up with, uh, keep up with me on the Himalayan. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah. right? Hopefully so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get this road on the show or show on the road. Here we go. Hey folks, I wanted to get a shot of the camp spot we got here. Uh, you know, it's nice, but the drawback is the main entrance is right here. They have a five mile an hour speed limit, but nobody ad adheres to it, so it blows up the dust. And the first couple days we were here, the wind was blowing straight into the camp, so made for a dusty environment. Uh, but anyways, let me just pan around here. So you can see spot two, three, four, down this way, and then Walking towards the main office down here, what we have over here is all the side-by-sides, and there's a single slingshot, but these are all rentals, and the price for rentals is very expensive, like 500 bucks a day for these things for a 12-hour day. But anyway, they have a lot of camping up on the hill up there. That's probably a better prime spot up there, a lot less dust blowing probably, and uh, the main office is down here, and you can see the cabins in the background there. 
but we'll go down there and uh, take a take a look at it a little get a little close up okay uh, here's the main office and uh, restaurant that they have here the barbecue uh, joint and uh, those picnic tables it's a nice little facility also they have uh, the showers or uh, there's a main office there and around the, the back is the showers which are uh, pretty pretty good condition not bad at all all right I'm walking back to my campsite uh, this campground is called Twin Hollow Campground RV Resort caters to the side-by-side -side crowd but uh, let me pan ahead and show you what's up ahead got a lot large crowd of people getting ready to leave all these vehicles parked off to the side there are all the rentals which are awful expensive about five hundred dollars a day to rent one of these things but anyways it's a popular place and it looks like they're all getting ready to go somewhere they just got back all right, the group here, they're going out for a night ride, so we're going to get a shot of them uh, parading, parading by here. It looks like everybody's ready to have a good time. What do you think, Joe? I would like to go with them. <laughs> You'd like to be with them, huh? I would. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be number 10, though, eating the dust. No. That's going to suck. But, uh... Dad on the Himalayan full hunter. Here comes Dan and Kirk. Morning. Hey, how you doing? Good. You, you guys ready? Cool. You guys ready to hit the trails? Absolutely. All right. So are we. <laughs> Dude, we got the camera going. I didn't start mine yet. Yeah. Wait. Pretty muddy right here.
shifter come off? No, it's, it's hanging. Yeah. Here, I'll get your bike. I got it. I got it. Is it in neutral? Yeah. 